Okay, so I'm using the um, flat boxes from the priority mail. So what I'm going to do is tear it open. have now is a blank surface. Of course you're not gonna be using these sides with the sticky stuffers. Uh, I'm gonna freehand most of it I think but let's see. Just using a little fan thing. This is gonna be the center. And I'm being a real G about this and I'm using a pen. Well, not this particular pen because it doesn't work. You can also use a protractor if you happen to have one. I do have one actually, but I don't feel like looking for it. And then I'm going to complete circle so that's what we have here then we're gonna do a bigger one okay. now I'm going to do a bigger circle let's just trace over this one okay then the other circle should probably go that big, I think. It's hard to do it this way because ideally what you want is something that doesn't have all these creases in it. But I'm a big believer in using what you have, so this is what I have. See, this side is not doing so well. Because my hand is shaking along with the ridges. <laughs> Come on, Reese. Let me have a little bit more to go. Now my hand needs some help, so hold on. Let me darken this part. And just round out this bitch. We have a makeshift circle here. Now the important part is going to be cutting it. Because you can have whatever line you want here, but you got to make sure you cut it properly. I'll be back. This is tiring. Okay. Okay. So it's more oval than round, but it'll do. I made the circle a little bit larger because it was off center. So let's see if we can make a hole. So I poke it. Just 
so I'm going to need the space. Okay. It's getting hard to do the center. If you have a scissors that's meant for this kind of surface, it would be a lot easier. So I'm just wiggling it a little bit as to not put too much strain on my actual hand. Now I can actually grip something. And I'm just following the circle outside of the line. Hopefully it'll look right. It might end up looking like a donut. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Whew. Okay, so here is our wreath. I am going to draw the Grinch, but I need to be off camera for that because I need to follow what it looks like on Pinterest. But I will leave the Pinterest inspirations down below and I'm basically just gonna draw here. So once I've sketched it via hand, I'll let y'all know how that works out. Okay, I finally cut it out. This is what it looks like. I hand drew it and then I cut it out. So now to make it look more lifelike, I think I'm gonna use some, um, cut up some gloves for the red part. And I'm going to use some cotton for here. Then I might use a marker. And then um, a cotton ball with some green food coloring to do the green hand. And then I'm just going to fill in here the darkness of black with a permanent marker. So I'm going to work on here so that it doesn't get on the carpet. But I think my little drawing came out pretty good. As you can see, I had to, you know, sketch more than once, but I think it gives it a more lifelike cartoon texture that way. Um, cutting those fingers was a bee, though. <laughs> a lot of finger work went into that, but I, I like it. I'm proud. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on the cuff, and I just wanted to show you what I do with the cotton ball before I glue it down, and now the glue's all over my hands. <laughs> So I basically just wiggle it, make it puffy before I glue it down. And this is just like the Santa um, jacket, the cuff part. My hands are getting sticky. So I just took some glue like a thick layer and did it around that circle and then now you could just puff it and spread it and like puff it up I think I'm going to add one more so I'm trying to add some glue there because I want to make another, um, stick another ball there. Let's see, yeah, I just take it and go like that. 
try to puff it out without breaking it apart and then where that glue is because there looks a little bit spacey so and if you want you could do a double layer I don't know if I'm gonna do all that I might do one more in this corner here I don't have much glue left Spreading a little bit of glue. Okay. Then pressing down. You want to make sure with the cotton ball you're covering the edges. And I might do one more here because I'm trying to make sure it's puffy enough. You don't need a whole lot of glue. I'm trying not to go overboard on the glue. finger. I'm not going to be using that part of the glove. And then I cut off part of a red fuzzy glove. Not sure how I'm getting it to stick on the cardboard yet. I might just staple it because I don't have fabric glue. Okay, that looks really good. So now we have the little cuff part. All right, tell me this is not hitting. <laughs> So I did use the food coloring with a cotton ball to color it in. Then like I showed y'all before, I used the cotton around here, trying to cover up the line, the drawing lines. And then I used um one relt relt <laughs> one felt glove. I um used two of the finger pieces here to go under it. And then this is mostly the palm section that I stretched across. And then like I told you all, I was going to staple it. So all of that is stapled. In here, under here is not stapled. But I stretched this across tight enough to where it won't move. So I am extremely happy with the results. And for most of the Pinterest things, I saw it holding a bell or ornament. I think I'm going to have it hold the Merry Christmas. Super cute.